Hi, I'm Laura at the Canadian Museum of Nature. 100 years ago, on February 3rd, 1916, this museum became the site for Canada's legislators when a massive fire destroyed the Parliament buildings. The destruction was quick. In just a few hours, the center block building was gutted and the tower had crumbled. The First World War was ravaging Europe. Canadian soldiers were fighting on the front lines. The governing of the country could not be interrupted. By 3 p.m. on February 4th, the day after the Great Fire, Parliament had found a new home, one mile due south at the new Victoria Memorial Museum. Canada's first national museum building, which had only opened to the public in 1912, became the interim home for Parliament for four years. I'm here now in the museum's rotunda, which became the chamber for the House of Commons. Accommodating all of the members of Parliament meant that exhibition galleries had to be closed to the public and most of the scientists were relocated off-site. In this rotunda, which served as the auditorium back then, the walls would have echoed from combative debates between Sir Wilfrid Laurier's opposition Liberals and the Conservatives led by Sir Robert Borden. Important legislation was passed, including the Military Service Act, the Women's Right to Vote, and the Temporary Income Tax Act. The museum's brief time as interim parliament long ago is honored just inside the entrance to this building with this special plaque. This stately museum remains one of Canada's most significant federal heritage buildings, a fact of which we're extremely proud.